All right, this is going to be the fast, quick and fast, dirty version for getting ready or not in VR set up. I traditionally have done VR mod guides in the past before, particularly with Valheim. People have a lot of problems with these. I'm going to make this as easy as possible, as straightforward as possible. It'll be super quick, super fast. I'm not able to provide a ton of support to this. I'll try to answer YouTube comments, but also a completely random side note. I am looking to do a new series on this channel, whether it be Subnautica or No Man's Sky or Ready or Not. So please leave a comment down below in what video series you might be the most interested in. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the Ready or Not VR guide tutorial. All right, let's jump over to the PC. So the first thing that you want, obviously, is a copy of Ready or Not installed on your PC. It could be the base game. You could have the DLC. Nonetheless, though, you want ready or not installed you then want to head over to the nexus mods ready or not vro mod you're going to go to file you're going to click manual download and you are going to download this pack chunk file super easy open up your file explorer go to your downloads right click and extract all and that should take just a second to do Boom, we have our pack file now. We're gonna go back to Steam. We are going to right click on Ready or Not. We are going to click Properties, and then we are going to click on the Browse, the Install folder. So now we have this Install folder here. We're going to click on the Ready or Not folder, the Content folder, the Pack File folder and we are going to copy and paste our pack file here. I have not done this yet on this computer. Um, I did it on my other computer. So we are actually setting it up in real time just as I would set it up. So the next thing that we need to do is head on over to the VRO Discord or the description of this video. I will also put in the how to install repost. Um, so what we are going to do is we are going to grab this Steam launch configuration and we are going to go back to right clicking on ready or not. We're going to click on properties. Then we are going to click in launch options and we are going to copy and paste these launch options, which will be in the description box below as well. And then the selected option is going to be the direct X 11. We're done. The mod is installed. We are going to go ahead and play the game. All right, once we're at the main menu, we are gonna go into the options, graphics, and then we are going to set this. Um, I would recommend setting this truthfully to low, just to make sure that you actually have the PC to push this. VR is significantly more demanding. Uh, than the game itself. The other important thing is to go over to controller and you're going to want to take the aim assist intensity and you're going to want to turn it off. It doesn't play well with VR, essentially. So that is it from there. From here, we can hit close. We can double check, make sure that our graphics options actually got defaulted the way that we want them to be defaulted. We can hit close. We can go ahead and hit exit game. We are now at the VR stage, ladies and gentlemen. So we're gonna grab our VR headset. We're gonna go ahead and throw it on our head. For the sake of this video, I am using a MetaQuest 3. I am linked to my PC uh, using a cable and the MetaLink. I don't know if Steam VR works. I don't know if wireless works or AirLink. I use a cable to play VR, so that is how I'm doing this. But I am using uh, right now in the MetaLink. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hit play on Ready or Not. I'm going to launch the game uh, in flat screen, just as you see here. We're in the game currently as it stands right now. What we are gonna do is we're playing in flat screen currently. So the way that the mod works is that you play it flat screen up until the point where you pick your mission. You then select the mission, ready up on the keyboard by pressing Y and we wait to actually load into the map before the VR ever starts. All right, so we are in. If everything works correctly, we should press U on our keyboard. And we are instantly in VR. 
and the mod is now functional from this point moving forward. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more Ready or Not VR content.